activity one, this is page 203. You're gonna need a compass or like one of those flat compasses. If you have a paper clip, that'd work as well. I think I can grab them for you. Protractor, some highlighters, definitely something to write with. Someone left me a resource. Um, in a pinch, in like a moment when you're not sure if you have all of your resources, a paper clip will work just fine. Let's go. Use a compass. Ooh, pause for a minute. Let's make sure we're attending to precision in everything that we're doing. Okay, this is connected to the learning target uh, saying that we're going to identify line segments, lines, and angles associated with the interior and exterior of circles. So a lot of circles are going to be drawn in this activity. Uh, I'm using my compass, and your compass might have a different shape, but it should still do the same thing. We should be able to make a perfect circle. Look how beautiful that is. And it says, label the center point O. So the nice thing about my compass is it actually puts a little, like, sharp point into the paper. And so I want to, you know, acknowledge that's supposed, to be, that's supposed to be the center. Okay. Uh, use your circle to complete the construction and answer each question. Construct a diameter of the circle. So to do that, straight edge, draw, like making sure that I'm putting my straight edge on the actual O center of the circle, and then draw a line all the way across. That's a diameter. Label the endpoints D and M. I'm not sure why they picked those letters. Maybe someone who had the initials D and also M wrote this question. That puts O as the midpoint. O is in the middle. All right, how many central angles? This is the next question. I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit, widen up on my question. How many central angles and arcs did you produce? A central angle is an angle that is generated by lines that come out from the center. And so remember that an angle is formed by two rays that have a common beginning point. Technically, I guess, these radii of the circle are forming the angle. If it's not a it's an obvious one. Technically, I guess, a central angle because it goes from D all the way around to M. This is angle D O M. Cool. Other side, if you think about it, there's actually, well, Mr. Lebrant, there's like two. Yeah, you're right. Angle M O D. That's the same thing. It goes from M to O to D. It makes that angle. It makes two central angles. How many arcs does that produce? Remember, arcs are the uh, distance around the edge. So here is an arc. And also, here is an arc. Kind of looks like a Pokeball, all right? So those two arcs, what happened there? Those two arcs that we produced by drawing a diameter, a central angle, two central angles, two arcs, uh, they're each measuring, let's see, all the way around a circle is 360 degrees, so halfway around a circle must be 180. Each are 180 degrees. The angle is 180 degrees. And you think about like slices out of a circle, like out of its circumference, then there are 360 degree slices out of the total circle. So there's 180 slices up here and 180 slices down there. Add them together, you get 360 all the way around a circle. All right, what is the name of each half of the circle created by the diameter? So if you put that half together, and that half, this is the green half and the pink half, you get a full circle. This is a semicircle. Two semicircles create a full circle. All right, I'm gonna break up activity one page by page. So thank you for watching these four minutes of this video. And uh, click on the next one to watch page 204. See you in the video.